Records show that of the 139 shootings in New York City this year, there have been none in Morningside Heights. We spoke to an LGBT resident who feels the difference. One of the major reasons I moved back to Morningside Heights was actually because I was a little bit sick of um, like having to watch out for myself as far as like catcalling and um, homophobia and whatever was concerned. Resident Sarah Taylor, who has lived in the neighborhood over the past few years, worries about something else. So far, I haven't had any issues. We're pretty safe about locking our door and everything. But I have seen notices, like when I go do the laundry, there are postings of people um, breaking into apartments and assaulting people. And Sarah might actually have a reason to be concerned. Look at all of these crime alerts issued by the Public Safety Office at Columbia University. On January 12th, a bike was stolen just one block away from where Sarah was standing when we interviewed her. While burglary has gone up and shootings have gone down, overall the crime rate has decreased over the past 20 years, according to criminologist James Allen Fox. This downward trend is explained by factors such as weather, strict police enforcement, and technology. We wouldn't have anticipated how much DNA, the value of DNA. We wouldn't have anticipated the uh, expansion of, of, of cameras and videos and in, in the hands of every citizen on their phone that contributes to uh, crime solutions. Solutions that have led to more than a 50% decrease in murder, robbery, and assault rates. As Fox believes, we should pay attention to trend lines, not headlines. Melissa Ferris, Columbia News Tonight.